We present a learning-based planner for computing optimized 3D printing toolpath on graphs with diverse topology and different number of entities. Toolpath planning on diverse graphs is a common problem for many 3D printing applications, such as wireframe printing, composite printing with continuous carbon fibers, and printing for metal materials. Here we use wireframe printing as an example. Different printing toolpaths will lead to different deformation on the in-process structure caused by gravity. Very large displacement can be formed when using the unoptimized path for printing. As a consequence, the printing process will fail. Currently, most of the known 3D printing toolpath planning algorithms are based on the trade-off between performance and efficiency. For example, Brufo Search will find global optimum by trying all possible paths on the graph, which is time-consuming. On the other hand, heuristics-based search algorithms can provide solutions much faster, but are limited to finding local optimum. The motivation of our work is to develop a two-path planner that can well balance the performance and the efficiency. Now we explain how to compute an optimized toolpath on an input graph by using our Q-Learning-based planner. A local search graph with n rings of nodes as a moving state is constructed on the fly from node to node. From the store priors, the one with the most similar configuration is selected to initiate the deep Q network. During the planning process, our planner learns an updated DQN to compute the Q values on every node of a local search graph. The next best node is then determined by the node with the largest Q value. The stored priors will be updated by the newly learned DQN to accelerate the planning later. This process of learning and moving is repeated until all edges have been traversed. As is nature of on-the-fly computing, our planner is able to compute optimized toolpaths on large-scale graphs. Here we demonstrate its capability to plan the path of wireframe printing on a bunny model with more than 3,000 edges. We now demonstrate the application of our planner in two other 3D printing processes. Let's first introduce its application in continuous carbon fiber printing. We aim to minimize the number of sharp turns as they will reduce the printing quality and in turn generate parts with weak mechanical strength. On the optimized path, the number of sharp turns can be significantly reduced. Here we show the planning and the printing process of continuous carbon fibers. The local search graph as a moving state has been highlighted in orange color and shown on the right. The mechanical strength of the model fabricated by our toolpath has been verified in tensile tests. Compared with the do graph based method, our method can increase the breaking force by 29% while using 28% less continuous carbon fibers. We now show the process and results of metal printing. During the metal printing process, concentrated thermal stresses can lead to large melt pools, which will give large warpage on the printing results. Therefore, the goal is to reduce the area of the high temperature region during printing. Here shows the metal printing process of the femur model by different two paths, including zigzag, chessboard, and the path generated by our Q Learning Base Planner. After printing one layer of the femur model on the flat plate, the distortion is measured after cooling down. As it can be observed, the maximum distortion caused by the zigzag toolpath and the chessboard toolpath are more than 30% of ours. We have successfully tested our planner on a variety of models for different 3D printing technologies. Here are the printing results. Thanks for watching. 